What's going on? In this video, I'm going to be talking about finding your purpose in life. It's really simple, really, to find it. You just have to ask yourself one simple question. What is it that you love doing so much that you would do it for free? It's that simple. When the money isn't important and it doesn't like involve your thought process of how you do things, you're just going to do it and the money will come. You know, it's like for me personally, I love spirituality and life smacked me upside the head a couple times and it gave me a nice little nurturing push from time to time. And I stumbled upon all these spiritual things that just make me feel good. I find myself talking to myself in my apartment, just like spitting facts. And I'm like, how do I even know that? You know, it, it just feels good. And I'll find myself doing it for hours until I get tired. And I'm like, dang, like, who was I just talking to? You know what I mean? So for me, I utilize to my strengths and my fears. Sometimes you'll feel, like they say, your fear can be your biggest strength and vice versa. You know, my biggest fear was not being good enough to teach anybody anything. You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand your fear, once overcome, is indeed you're going to become one of your biggest strengths. You know, I always, I had, I told my mom the other day, I have the problem with letting, letting people see my progress. I don't like people seeing my progress. I'm working on it. But, you know, that's what stopped me from making a bunch of videos way, way back when. But I just said, man, screw it, let's go. Like, you know, because sometimes the progress will show you just how truly great you are and you can see how much you've grown over time. Um, but back to passions, you know, a lot of people, they overthink it, you know. It's like, okay, okay, what, what else is that I like doing? No, don't, don't stress. What do you like doing? If you had a billion hours a day and you could spend doing one thing, what would you do? For me, it's meditating, reading spiritual books. For you, you know, you'd be the best pogo stick bouncer person. I don't know the right word to use for it. But, like, you'd be the best pogo stick person in the world. You know, you'd be seeing these people in the X Games doing front flips over storage containers and stuff. Like, it's, it's crazy. You could do whatever. You can become viral and find a passion in stacking cars. There are, there's a dude that literally stacks rocks. But that is his passion. That's what he loves to do. It, it gives him a sense of fulfillment. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to look for in yourself. What is that thing? You know? Speaking of me, you know, it's like I like bettering people. I like helping people. You have to, you have to observe some of your traits of yourself. For me, I love when, I always loved when friends came to me for advice in school. You know, friends came to me for advice and that made me feel good. I'd be like, wow, you trust me? You don't, I mean, granted, they didn't know all the issues I had in my head during the time. <laughs> I had some issues. But, <laughs> but, you know, it, 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 that was that, that thing I never forgot. You know, I'll never forget the time, you know, my, my friend from school, like out after, after college, he texted me one day and he said, yo, I need some guidance, bro. And I was like, I can't lie. Like, I legitimately teared up when he said that to me. And after I helped him out and whatever, like I was doing my meditation the following night and I was like, that really felt good. How do I do that all the time? And that's how I like broke my fears and started doing this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of people are sad in life because their soul wants to do something. Their soul innately wants to create something. That's what we're here to do. We're here to create. But a lot of us have gotten bought into the system that's been placed for us, this cookie cutter life. I'm gonna go get a job, work for 40 years, retire with a pension, and have hopefully have a couple kids, get married, vacation in Florida, and die. That's a really shitty way to live life. You know, I don't care if I went out tomorrow, if I knew I helped a handful of people, I succeeded in life and I can move on. You know, I'm good. But a lot of people are sad because we got put into this, some people call it the matrix, some people just call it the system, but we got put into it. I mean, if you really, the more you look into stuff, like we did, but it's up to you to free yourself and your passion is what's going to free you. You know, if the money doesn't affect your decision making, it doesn't affect whatever it is that you're doing, you're probably on the right track. You know, you see a lot of these rappers nowadays, they... They start off, they get they get big, they have a one-hit wonder, 
and then they get crazy in the drugs and they start going crazy and they have all these songs where they're screaming out for help but we just like their songs so we ignore them and we just said that was a good song when this dude is literally crying out for help talking about his drug issues and his sex addictions and all that type of stuff it's wild when you let the money like dictate what you do this material thing that man made dictate your spirit your creative energy that's when you get messed up you know so oh one last thought is it's kind of like the cookie cutter in the system that we got put into but you know sometimes you're gonna to have to deviate from your parents you know what is that thing that you die for what is that thing that you would do if you have million hours in the day and you could spend all million of those hours doing that thing is it cooking shoot some people clean yeah there's cleaning videos on youtube we have people that stack rocks that one still bugs me i'm mean, not bugs me but it's like it's interesting because it's like this dude really just stacks rocks hey more power to you man <laughs> you know and then also you know you're gonna have to once again you're gonna have to step away sometimes from your family you know like you're gonna have to be like look i'm gonna do this you can either support me or not but i'm going to do this i want to do this very and of course once again if it's beneficial to society then do it i ain't saying like mom i'm gonna do meth i can't condone that one my guy like you you on your own with that one <laughs> but you know what i'm saying if you're doing something that benefits society yourself makes you happy and other people can share your happiness you're on the right track so I hope this puts something into perspective. Um, if you got any questions, leave a comment. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.